Today's Gen Z Bible story comes from 2 Kings chapter 5. The commander of the Syrian army, Captain Naaman, him and his wife are dinks, double income, no kids, they're killing it. He's a baller, caked up, meaning he's rich. The only thing is, he has leprosy, which is this wax skin condition, yeeting his game. Yeet means damaging his game. No can make a play. Like, who can make a play or make a move when you get wax skin condition? Okay, so Naaman's wife has a PA, a personal assistant. Let's call her slave girl because she was an actual slave. So slave girl was a Dorb's barely legal, cute little rhinoplasty going on, some major lit filler. So she says, boss man, you got to link up with the prophet Elisha for a healing sesh. So Naaman, wanting to do the right thing, puts on his kicks and goes AWOL. He leaves his fam, but with a ton of guap and arrives at Elisha's spot in beast mode with his whip, shiny ass chariots with a bunch of horses. Picture Elisha, an elderly, steezy in his athletic leisure wear, cashmere tracksuit, no socks, looking out the window of his hut. Now Elisha doesn't even go out to greet Naaman. He sends his intern. His intern is like, what up? Naaman, jelly-legged and thirsty as hell, says, I need to speak to your manager. The intern is like, he's on his 11s. It's 11 a.m. He's having a light snack and sparkling water. So Naaman digs in with the mansplaining. He's like, I got diseases on my skin, okay? The intern is like, what's your end game? And Naaman is like, I'm haranguing for a glow-up doll. I need me some smooth baby butt skin. The intern is like, wait, getting a text. Elisha is texting his intern. And the intern says, just tell Naaman to go down to the river and go for a dip seven times. And Naaman is like, are you fronty? The intern is like, no cap. Naaman is like, I'm a noob at this. Okay, how does this work? Like, I came here to see Elisha, the maze balls miracle healer. The intern, reading off his text messages from Elisha, replies, not your concern. Not your concern. It's God's concern. You just have to dip yourself in the water seven times. Naaman says, not to be a nosy parker, but this sounds like DIY. Do it yourself. The intern says, the venerable prophet Elisha merely nudges you to have faith. No man is your healer. Only God can heal you. She is the OG awesome sauce. But there's one condition if God is to heal you. And Naaman is like, name it. The intern says, no flexing on the gram. Naaman's like, I got you, cat. I'm not trying to blow up your genius hour. This is strictly on the down low. The intern is like, because Elisha's got a lot of haters throwing shade on TikTok. Naaman's like, I'm not giving none of them trolls no tea. Naaman goes down to the river. He gazes in his reflection in the water. Just like how y'all and me did the mirror work. And if you attend our private healing sessions on the third Sundays of the month, we do the mirror work where you look in the mirror and gaze into your eyes and say your name and say, I love you. So Naaman looks into his reflection and says, When will my reflection show who I am inside? And you and I also did a guided meditation where you saw your soul self, which is your soul stepping out of your body and revealing who you truly are inside. And Naaman sees this young boy when he gazes into his reflection in the water. A young boy with clean skin. And just like how you asked your soul self a question and your soul self answered you, Naaman does the same thing. He asks his reflection, his soul self, how can I have clean skin? And his soul self answers him, 
What did you have to give up because you have leprosy? And Naaman answers this idea that God is this all powerful grand master commander of the universe who will wave his magic wand and make me perfect, make me like him, make me like God. And his soul self answers, you are not becoming God. God is becoming you. You don't have to become God. You have to let God become you. If you don't like yourself, you won't let God become you. Your shame will push God away. But when you are clean in your spirit, you let God come into you. And you let God live in your body. Behold, the moment Naaman got it, he hears the word of his soul. And first, he does exactly what you're supposed to do. You write it down in your dream Bible. Then you take a picture of the page of your dream Bible and you email it to me. And then you do the next steps your soul tells you to do. Naaman dips himself into the river seven times and like Easter emerges from the water with clean skin like that of a young boy. God is the truest version of you. When you let God into your body, your body becomes the truest version of who you are.